What's up my fellow MetaZoo collectors? This is Ahsoka. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you all for joining me today. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a kind of mail video. Kind of, I had a lot of packages come in and normally I really just like to tear into them at the end of the day. You know, sometimes I've got two jobs plus school and sometimes the collecting thing as well kind of feels like a job. So by the end of the day, when I got a lot of packages in, I, I really do enjoy just going through them by myself. So I don't usually get a chance to record a lot of videos. Uh, going through mail day and stuff like that, but I've been so busy lately that I haven't actually had a chance to uh, go through all of the, the stuff and really um, organize it, catalog it and stuff like that for either collection, grading, selling, uh, things like that. So what I'm gonna do is show off some of the stuff. So what came in was three of these right here. Uh, <laughs> I already opened up. Um, I already opened up three of these. So these were the Opus 14 pre-release kits. Opened up three, uh, went three for three with the full art. So I got some really good cards, uh, but I mainly bought those just for the full art pre-release Tifa. I mean, this card looks absolutely stunning. Just a fantastic card. Final Fantasy knocks it out of the park with these full art cards. And I just love this one. This one, I believe she's sitting on the water tower in uh, Nibelheim. It's supposed to be like their childhood home. So I got three copies. I figured at least I'll get 110 at the worst, but you know, potentially getting three for three PSA 10s just because a lot of these cards pack fresh have like around a 50% uh, PSA 10 rate. The only ones that had an issue were like the first few sets because they had tilting with the names. So other than that, those cards were really easy to grade. Uh, let's go ahead and showcase some more Final Fantasy cards. So this, and a lot of these cards are from a while ago. So I figured while I was going through uh, this order, I kind of put a bunch of other stuff together and I realized that I had, I don't think I, sh I had shown any of these off. If I have, uh, just enjoy the cards. But these are three of the full arts from Opus 11. I'm not sure if these are the first sets to have full arts, but you've got Tifa, Sephiroth, the main villain, kind of like the, she was kind of the main chick, but then the side chick, but then the main chick because the side chick died. So, uh, and then you got Cloud, the hero. And then I have another one right there. I think one of them has a dent in the top. So, I'm just hopefully going to grade a PSA 10, but I hope to pick up more copies down the line. They are kind of expensive. Tifa goes for about $500 plus. Sephiroth is around $200, $250. Cloud is like $250 to $300. And then here are the regular foil versions. So, for Final Fantasy, the way it works, you get, uh, you know, there's a full art premium version, obviously, usually one per double case, so 12 boxes. You get at least one of every card from the premium full arts. Uh, and then as you get lower down the tier uh, rarities, you get more. Uh, but this one is the regular uh, foil version for the legend. Then you get the non foil version. So you get like three different rarity types out of it, kind of like Sun and Moon era, where you get the GX. Then you get the full art, then you get the hyper rare rainbow version. So, uh, yeah, more Tifa from Opus 2. I graded a 9 on my last copy, so that's why I got those. Trying to get one PSA 10 for the set. Uh, some Tifa 10 promo full arts. They're really knocking it out of the park with those. Some more pre release ones. And then Cloud, just promos, uh, full art, starters. Yuna, I like this one as well. Uh, this is a promo. Picked up a few. I believe that's 10-2. That was a really fun game. Kind of like a chick game because the main characters were all women. And it was kind of, um, what do you call it? It was like a Sex in the City, but uh, Final Fantasy characters. <laughs> so Cloud, more Cloud. Steiner, I love this one. This is just like some Japanese art version of Steiner from Final Fantasy IX. Kate Sith, trying to go for all of the main Final Fantasy VII characters. And Jill from Crisis Core, Vivi, and the summons as well. And then just various um, creatures that I've liked over the years. And just promos, One Winged Angel. Kind of reminds me of the Kingdom Hearts version. I don't know if any of you have played that one, but that one was a fun game. Really, uh, I think it was a pretty difficult boss. I can't remember. Obviously as games have evolved, they've gotten harder and harder. Uh, so yeah, from what I remember, it was a pretty hard one. That's what she said, but, um, <laughs> yeah. So let's get into some Dragon Ball. So I've been picking up Dragon Ball, uh, super cards and some other TCGs. I kind of feel that it's worth it at this point just to pick some up. I've graded some already and I sold them and I made, you know, probably 10 times my original money. 
with it. So at that point I can take more and put it into it. Eventually I'll buy those back. But for now, just building capital again. So I've been picking up these. I really like this card in general. And I think it's gonna be a great card to get graded. So a lot of it, I think a lot of people are looking at modern cards with Pokemon and thinking, I like the artwork. I think that'd be a great card to have graded in a PSA 10, just to have a PSA 10 version. There's something that's nice about having that as a collector, even though they're not that hard to grade. And so I'm picking up a lot of cards that I just, I like the artwork. For whatever reason to me, it just speaks to me as a collector. And I know that I've done that in the past by listening to my intuition with what cards look good or what cards other people are going to like, or just what cards I've liked in general. And other people seem to have liked those cards as well. So I'm doing that with all these other TCGs. Again, I've watched these as a kid. I've played the video games. I've collected some of the cards. And I just think... I have a feeling that some of these are going to be worth it to pick up and not only just buy and flip and grade at the moment, but also buy and flip quite a few and then keep a few, one for the collection and some for the long term. So some, I think those are the full art alt are the full art alternate art promos from uh, the first Digimon. I need to pick up a few more of those, but those are going for $500 to $800 in a PSA 10. The cards are $75 to $150. So I think those cards will be worth it to send down the long term, even if they're only a few hundred dollar profit. So I picked up a lot of raw cards, a lot of Deoxys cards. I just had a chance to pick up some lots. A lot of these are lightly played to near mint condition. This Rayquaza here is uh, pretty played, but I believe I picked this one. I don't remember where. I, I think I just had this one, and I picking up. A, I picked up a lot of these hollow. Uh, theme deck ones that I think a lot of people don't really understand the the rarity of it and also the difficulty in grading them as well and then also the fact that they're part of the complete set they're pretty easy to pick up but a lot of these go for a quarter of the price of the regular ones and, and I've been picking up some of them under the radar uh, Team Rocket Returns has been hard to pick up but even then those are still about $50 a card and the theme decks themselves are $300 so, and the nines, I've sold many nines from the theme decks for 200 to 350 from various sets. So Metagross, another theme deck one. I think this is Starlight. I've been picking up the, these for, I don't know, 10, 15 bucks. And just a lot of people don't really know, even when they're listing them, you know, what they are what they really have. I picked up, uh, I think, mostly a complete reverse hollow rare set from Deoxys. It, most of these are probably lightly played to near mint, but at like four dollars a card when you get Jirachi and Gyarados, I mean it's it's hard to lose when you get that for about a hundred dollars. And then just more of them. Just these are going to be going towards Troll and Toad Evo program. I have probably two thousand or so reverse hollow rares and hollows, and I'm just going to be sending off about five or six hundred of what I have. Uh, most of what I have are still at this point singles. There's some sets like Deoxys, Unseen Forces, uh, Team Rocket Returns, with very few cards in Team Rocket Returns, not like I have a ton. But there were just certain cards, commons and uncommons and, and hollow rares that just, I seem to accumulate two, three, four, or five copies. And for whatever reason, I just, I already have one for my set. So at this point, it's not benefiting me any to keep multiples of these when originally my intention was to put these together make complete sets i love this artwork i think my dog just farted in the background <laughs> um oh man another one. look at that kazuki doing togepi togetic i think what is it toga kiss is the next one so oh, those would be some fantastic artworks to have i love his style and then komiya as well i already have some mint copies for my binder um, but yeah my original intention was to keep these just stockpile them up but at the same time, I've kind of learned that I've missed opportunities to buy other cards. So I'm just going to be sending these off to Troll and Toad Evo program, hoping that they do pretty well sales-wide. But I've already picked up a lot of these cards. Uh, most of them are free from sets that I had picked up that were complete sets or near complete sets. And I've made more than enough profit on it. Double, like two to five times X on the profit. And so at this point, the cards are just sitting there. So I might as well send them in, use, that, use those funds to buy more cards and collections and then sort through those from the cards that I think will get PSA 10 or PSA 9, uh, you know, and if they're worth it based on PSA bulk condition. And that'll allow me to keep cycling and buying a lot quicker. And if I'm able to buy these lots, you know, I'm, I'm looking at various generations and branching out, but if I'm able to buy these lots at, you know, sometimes 
uh, 20% of the price for the market price or usually somewhere between about 50 to 60% of what I think the full market price is as individuals. And they just seem to go under the radar. A lot of people just don't want to buy these lots because they don't know what to do with it. And so for me, sort through them, pick up the cards to grade, any good ones I put together, uh, one complete uh, master set. And then after that, just send the rest to Troll and Toad Evo and hopefully recoup some of my money, if not break even, uh, depending on the price. So that's kind of been my goal with that. And so I'll show one more. These are not going to uh, Troll and Toad Evo. There's a good reason why. So I picked up, <clears throat> there was a seller on eBay and he listed these for about 45 bucks, put a few offers in, got them in. I was like, these are pretty mint, honestly. Uh, and then from there, I was just thinking, wow, how many more do you have? And he told me, oh, I've got, uh, how many more do you need? I was like, well, I was just kind of fishing. I was like, I got three. I want a complete binder page. I want six. He's like, okay, made a listing. I was like, oh crap, that was fast. Then he just kept listing them. They kept selling, kept listing them, kept selling. And I guess he put up another lot of 10 and they sold. I didn't realize that afterwards. And then when I reached out, he said that he had 12 left. So I picked up 10 more. So I think I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight right here. One more in my grading pile from a complete EX pre-release set that I had purchased. So in total, about 19 of these. I think in total, he sold 40 something. And the story that he told me was that he got these from a store that was shutting down. I guess they were play. Um, they had like the tournaments, whatever. And I guess they never got uh, distributed. And these cards are pretty, pretty mint. I mean, you just look at the centering right there. And here, let's see if I can. I mean, a little bit on the corner right there, but very, very minimal on the edge. I mean, these are, these are definitely going to be getting nines. I'll probably... Uh, express grade a few of these hopes to get a 10 for the collection this card and let's see team rocket returns were the lowest populations along with sandstorm were the lowest population psa 10s for the longest time i think somebody got their hands again on something similar to this i believe it was uh, rusty from tca gaming he graded like you know 10 to 20 of them and that shot up the pop from like you know two or three to like 25 today ex dragon is still below 10 and i believe with what i grabbed and what the other person grabbed we'll probably see a a decent uptick in the psa 10s of these ex dragon cards uh the only one that has not been graded 10 is the power keepers cacturn nobody really likes it and i guess nobody cared for it and and no psa 10s at all so far so that is my mail day except for one one very large item i think my camera's freezing so i do apologize for that it's getting a little bit hot here but this is a binder that I picked up all right let's let's showcase this here so this is yeah you can see I'm using my Microsoft surface <laughs> not the best quality so far but this was a binder I picked up for about a thousand dollars Lots of Team Rocket returns, hollow foils, and rare reverses. So, and comments on uncommon. So, this is all either hollow or rare reverse hollows. Really cool sight to see these binder pages. I mean, you don't get to see this often. Again, these are moderately played to near mint, most of them being lightly played to excellent. But at $4 a card, uh, it's something I couldn't pass up, you know. I have a tendency to pick up a lot of cards like this. And I was buying these because I think they were cheap. I was buying lots like this for $5 a card. And they were near mint mint to mint condition. And I was just picking them up. And at this point, it just seems ridiculous that I'm holding on to 2,000 plus EX series cards like that. And I don't really have, you know, other avenues of capital besides PSA grading. You know, I'm not uh, TCA Gaming and a few other guys that have just large stashes of just boxes of first edition Wizards of the Coast, commons, uncommons, non hollow rares, multiple complete sets, and PSA 10 collections that are for the most part complete, along with boxes. I'm, I'm not in that position. So as much as I would like to just keep stockpiling it, and, and it feels fun, honestly, to just stockpile tons and tons of cards... But it's not really doing me any good. You know, it's not really building much when I could use that to actively flip and find cards. 
So that's kind of what I picked up there. Again, just this <laughs> pretty cool site. Maybe I'll use that as a screenshot. Uh, but yeah, that, that's that's what I picked up recently. Mail day, lots and lots of. Let's see if I can get that to sit down. Just lots and lots of stuff. And overall, just got a lot of returns coming in, a lot of items coming in, and things are progressing forward. You know, with the collection, with the store, and I'm making a lot of progress, making a lot of fun, having a lot of fun, and meeting a lot of people, talking to a lot of people, and I'm just overall trying to enjoy the hobby as much as I can and, and focus on those aspects, you know, other collectors, the fun of it, and not stress out about the financials. It's uh it can definitely you can get in over your head a lot with it, always trying to feel like you're you're missing out with the FOMO, I guess would be the best way to describe it. But I'm just trying to enjoy the ride, have some fun, and uh, chat with all of you. So that was my mail day. Hopefully all y'all had a fantastic day as well. Thank you for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. It means the world to me. And if you guys can give the video a thumbs up, uh, give it a like, and leave me a comment below. Tell me what you think about this mail day purchase. And uh, <laughs> am I slowly becoming a hermit accumulating all of these cards? Either way, that's my video for today. Have a good one. Peace out.